Okay, so we'll now look at the second kind of reaction which uh, alkanes undergo. The first one is combustion, which we've just looked at. The second one is substitution reactions. So alkanes react in the presence of UV light to produce halogenoalkanes. In a substitution reaction, a halogen atom takes the place of a hydrogen atom. There are three stages in the reaction. They are initiation, propagation and termination. Let's look at the first step which is initiation. So here we have a chlorine molecule on the left here. Okay? And that chlorine molecule is broken apart in the presence of UV light, ultraviolet light. And it produces two chlorine radicals. Okay? So a chlorine radical basically has an unfilled valence shell of electrons. It only has seven electrons in the outer shell. Now we know that chlorine wants eight, so that makes it very reactive. Okay? So these radicals, or free radicals, they are very reactive and you know it's a radical or a free radical because it has this dot after the the letters okay so the bond between the chlorine atoms is broken by uv light you should always have the uv above the arrow okay so don't forget that there it breaks into two chlorine radicals they have a dot after them okay it's called homolytic bond fission so you may remember that the bond between two chlorine atoms is a shared pair of electrons, two electrons shared. So in homolytic bond fission, each of the atoms gets one of those electrons. Okay, so that means they form chlorine radicals. And that's initiation. Okay, and if you ever have to write an equation for initiation, this is how you do it. The halogen goes on the left, the arrow with the UV above it, and then you can have the two. In this case, it's Cl radicals, chlorine radicals. It could also be bromine, okay? In that case, you'd have Br2 arrow to Br with a dot, okay? Okay, propagation. So what happens in the propagation uh, part of the reaction is this. You have your chlorine radical here. Okay, that reacts with CH4, which we know is an alkane, it's methane. Okay, now what you produce is something called a methane radical. Okay, how do we know it's a radical? Methane, sorry, because it has the dot here. Okay, remember if you see a dot after something, it's a radical, so that's the methane radical. Okay, and you also get this here which is hydrogen chloride HCl. Now in the second equation the methane radical is reacting with Cl2 okay and it makes something over here called a halogenoalkane okay and in this case it's chloromethane. Now the important point is you also produce another chlorine radical and that can start the reaction all over again here okay so this is called a chain reaction okay so in the propagation stage chlorine radicals react with methane to produce methane radicals in the second equation the methane radicals react with chlorine the end product is chloromethane CH3Cl okay a chlorine radical is also produced which continues the reaction and we call it a chain reaction. The final stage in the reaction is called termination. Now in the termination stage what happens is basically is these radicals okay they've got chlorine radical here reacting with a chlorine radical here to give you Cl2. In the next one you have a methane radical here reacting with a chlorine radical here to give you chloromethane. 
and another product could be a CH3 radical, a methane radical, and another methane radical to give you C2H6, which you should know is ethane. Okay, so all these here, Cl2, CH3, Cl, which is chloromethane, and C2H6, which is ethane, are all products. Okay, and all these are called termination reactions. So in the final stage of the reaction, the, three, the free radicals react together, forming a variety of products, Cl2, CH3Cl, and C2H6.